Hello and welcome to the session. In this session we are going to discuss the following question and the question says that a page from saving bank account passbook of Mr. Smith is given below. Find the interest received by Mr. Smith for the period of 1st January 2001 to 31st December 2001 at the rate of 4.5% per annum. B slash F stands for brought forward from the previous page of the passbook. We know that simple interest is equal to P into R into T upon 100 where P is equal to the principal, R is equal to the rate of interest T is equal to time. With this key idea, let us proceed with the solution. First, we shall calculate the principal for one month and then we will calculate the interest for the required period of time. As per the entries of the passbook, The qualifying amount from the tenth day of every month is On 3rd January 2001, the balance amount brought forward from the previous page of the passbook is $12,500. So, the qualifying amount for the month of January is $12,500. An amount of 1050 is withdrawn on 9th Feb so that the balance amount becomes 11,450. So the qualifying amount for the month of February is $11,450. An amount of 2000 is deposited on 6th March and another amount of $1,550 is deposited on 10th March so that the balance amount becomes $15,000. The next transaction is made on 9th July so the balance amount for the months of March, April, May and June is $15,000. So the qualifying amount for interest for the months from March to June is $15,000 into 4 that amounts to $60,000 as the balance amount on 9th July is $13,200 so for the months of July, August and September the qualifying amount will be 13200 into 3 which amounts to $39,600. An amount of $2,800 is deposited on 24th September so that the balance amount becomes $16,000 and the next transaction made is on 7th November. So the qualifying amount for the month of October will be $16,000. The balance amount on 7th November is $5,000 and the next transaction is on 12th December. So, for
for the months of November and December, the qualifying amount is 5000 into 2 for 2 months which amounts to $10,000. So, the total principal becomes $149,550. Hence, the principal for one month is equal to $149,550. Time is one month which is equal to 1 by 12 year. And the rate of interest given is equal to 4.5% per annum which is equal to 9 by 2% per annum. As interest is equal to P into R into T upon 100. So here the interest will be equal to 149,550 into 9 by 2 into 1 by 12 into 1 by 100. So this is equal to 3 3's are 9, 3 4's are 12, 5 times 2 is 10, and 5 times 2991 is 14955. So this is equal to 2991 into 3 upon 16 which is equal to 8,973 upon 16, which is equal to $560.81. Hence, the interest received by Mr. Smith in the given period is equal to $560.81, which is our answer. This completes our session. Hope you enjoyed the session.